Research at Union College is sort of a cornerstone of the educational experience. We bring our students into the lab and we give them a hands-on experience at characterizing pollution in the environment. Something that's very timely and has been seen in probably the news lately. Uh, and so here's a project that isn't old or isn't so on the forefront that they don't understand. Here's something that the students can actually get their teeth into and, and take apart on their own. So a Pelotron Accelerator, this is a tandem electrostatic accelerator developed by the National Electrostatics Corporation. It essentially uses electric fields to take a charged particle and make it go from standing still to very fast. And what makes uh, Union College and the Department of Physics and Astronomy unique by having one is that most undergraduate institutions don't have access to an accelerator. So we actually have a bunch of different materials analysis projects that we can offer students throughout their four years here, as well as entice some students from nearby universities and colleges to come and do some research on the machine. Mentoring undergraduate research researchers is very important to the ion beam analysis laboratory. Uh, you know, we do research and we publish articles and we give talks at conferences and things like that. But our main mission and really the, the main contribution to society is training undergraduate students. I was always a conceptual learner. To actually see stuff do, being done is so much better to me. Getting stuck in the nitty gritty of the math can sometimes be a hassle, but to like actually do experimental physics and actually see what's being done in the field is awesome. So working in the ion beam analysis lab has been a great experience that is incredible since I'm a sophomore, I've only been here two years and I'll be doing my second year of summer research and it's, it gives such a great experience for grad school and my future. I think the best thing is running experiments. To run the machine, put stuff in, just start collecting data is awesome. Well, we employ a number of, uh, of strategies to, to try to, uh, to enhance the students' uh, experience in research and, and try to get them involved as early as possible. My research has been over the summer and I've been uh, using this accelerator to do uh, pixie analysis. Uh, basically measuring the content of lead in soil and other heavy metals. We've been looking at soil samples from around the East River and just sort of doing experiments on those. A proton beam gets fired at a sample and it sort of knocks an electron out of its shell and that emits an x-ray and we can use the number of x-rays that are emitted and their energies to determine what elements are in the sample. So that can help us to determine if there are heavy metals or anything like that. Sometimes projects are associated with a faculty's broader research program. Heather Watson, Professor Heather Watson in the department is a geophysicist and she comes into the lab to do Rutherford backscattering experiments to measure heavy metal uh, diffusion to help determine the age of meteorites. So I've had actually a variety of different uh, projects related to earth science and planetary science using the accelerator here. The first one is a project that I've been working on since I arrived here related to looking at meteorites, which are pieces of planets that formed really, really early in the solar system uh, that somehow found their way onto the surface of our earth so we can look at them in detail. And we can look at trace elements or the composition of these things at a very low detection limit and try to understand what these trace elements are telling us about the age of these meteorites or these early planets and how they formed and what kinds of processes were at work. This coming summer, we have four students that will be working in the lab with us. In addition for the students here working on the accelerator, not only do they get to experience a collaboration amongst uh, Professor Vineyard and myself and the other students in the lab, we also have collaborations with other local colleges and universities that don't have access to an accelerator and Union College having a particle accelerator allows those uh, other institutions and students to come in and we can further the collaborative process and they can do a materials analysis project where they might not have otherwise been able to do that. What excites me the most about the future of the lab and the work that undergraduate students are doing is the opportunities to develop new techniques and new collaborations to expand the research opportunities for our students. I think one of the most rewarding things about doing research with students um, is to have that experience of real discovery with them. The idea that you are the first person in the world to see this data or to understand what is happening with this sample and no one else has seen that before, when that hits them as like, oh, this is something really new, really different and, and novel, um, it's really exciting just to see the, the light go off and the excitement of making a real discovery in the lab.